Welcome to tonight's production of Closets. Now, it's the morning of the wedding. The groom lies dead on the couch. Who did it? Let's find out. Enjoy the show. small but it might fit. All right. Who? Julie would be the perfect wife for me. Except she isn't very bright. Well, that's more of an age gap thing. Exactly. Eventually she'll get older and wiser. It's an investment. <laughs> no, not yet. Her dad's super old school and will only give his blessing to anyone who's a doctor or CEO. Right? Doesn't help that I got kicked out of my master's program all over a simple misunderstanding. Well, I accidentally got the entire faculty high. <laughs> okay, so I made some spaghetti sauce for a faculty fundraiser. I ran out of oregano, so I borrowed my roommates. <laughs> it wasn't oregano. Didn't help that it's a Teachers Against Drugs fundraiser either. <laughs> been the liberal arts department. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, so my only chance with Julie is if I become CEO of Grandpa's closet business. Hear me out. His will states that the business is to go to the oldest grandchild, my sister. But if that grandchild is a woman, then upon her marriage, she's to sign her interest over to the next, me. Because as Grandpa liked to say, using closets is for wives and building closets is for husbands. Yeah, totally misogynist, I know. But the guy's from a different generation. And when I'm the boss, I'll hire women. I mean, hey, you never have enough secretaries. I'm joking. Anyway, today my sister gets married right here in Grandpa's home before it's sold. She's bound to be in a fantastic mood, which means there's no better time to have her sign. The groom? He's sort of dull. <laughs> Lifeless, you know? He's the type of guy you rarely notice is even in the room. But... <laughs> he seems to make my sister happy, and today that's what matters. Well, that... Me becoming CEO so I can gain permission to marry Julie. What could go wrong? <laughs> Bernie? He's dead. I'm serious. On his wedding day. Oh, it must have been an accident. Only he and my sister are here, but I can't rule out any foul play. I better call 911. What? Oh, no. I mean, you're right. She won't want to sign if she knows her husband to be is dead. True. And it'll only take a second to sign. I mean, he can't get any deader. <laughs> oh, you're a bad influence. I'll just hide him for like a minute. Then she'll sign and I'll compassionately break the news to her. She'll be relieved to know I'm the new owner so she can spend her energies grieving. Yes! Well, eventually she'll have found someone else to marry and have gone to me anyway. Hold on. Okay. I'll be as careful, respectful as possible. Fingerprints? 
Oh, shoot. You're right, I better, I better preserve the area for when I do call it in. I'm not a bad person, am I? Gotta go. Julie, my love, how was the flight? Terrible. First they had the nerve to tell me to turn off my phone in the middle of my live stream, and then the internet just like, out. I mean, seriously, Pilot, you have like, what, one job? <laughs> At least he was hot. <laughs> they told me to read a book. I mean, gross, seriously, flying can be so medieval. <laughs> and they lost all of my luggage. How do you lose 11 suitcases? I mean, I'm going to have to wear the same pair of shoes like twice. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Maybe my sister could lend you some things. Oh, yes. A charger. My phone. It might die. And seriously, I'd rather lose a gallbladder or a lung. Wait, which one's worse? Oh, and it better be an iPhone because androids are, like, gross. And I seriously know my phones. What is that? A phone. Gross! Steve Jobs would, like, never approve. <laughs> no, but the inventor Alexander Graham Bell would. Oh, Graham! Oh, like, Instagram! Oh, cute! Okay. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Hashtag old people. <laughs> this lighting is so slay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. Please don't touch. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just want <laughs> Please, don't touch. Oh, oh, I get it. <laughs> Alexa, call the airport. <laughs> That's not how that works. Oh, oh. <laughs> Google, call the airport. <laughs> Siri, just, call Just, just no. <gasps> Why are there like so many doors? Well, these are all closets. My grandpa owned the second largest closet manufacturer in Madison County called Closets. Um, how creative. <laughs> you think that's bad? Years ago, our biggest competitor changed their name to Closets. How is that different? Well, we are Closets, with a period. They are Closets, with an exclamation point. Grandpa was constantly paranoid that Closets would somehow take over Closets. To one-up them once, we changed our name to Closets! Oh. With two exclamation points. <laughs> but everyone just sounded angry all the time. Oh. Anyway, Grandpa's closet obsession is manifested in this very room. That's a costume closet, a coat closet, that's a storage closet, and that one right there is a water closet. <gasps> a whole closet just for water? <gasps> no, water closets what they called bathrooms in olden times. handles more of the day-to-day -day operations, and I'm the creative consultant. For example, I came up with the following very creative design names. For our Christmas release, Santa Closets! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> like closet. For our pet release, Closets! Oh. <laughs> and for our romantic line, um, Claw Sex. <laughs> ideas are making it through. Oh. <laughs> okay, so, um, coat closet, right? Uh-huh. Ah, 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 ah! Is that an arm? Did I say coat closet? I meant arm closet. <laughs> Mannequin closet. Oh. Gross. <laughs> but not gross enough to scare you away? No, I mean, unless they were like... Skeletons in your closet or something. <laughs> just, just never leave me again, okay? Okay. Oh, 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 oh! Yes, Lay, they found my luggage. <laughs> um, we like go get it. <laughs> I've got to stay here for my widowed sister. Widowed? My widow sister. Widow. Oh, uh, I thought you were older than. She was older than you. Well, 
Yes, but I'm bigger. She's widow. Okay. Um, why do you keep staring at that closet? Uh, I'm not. I'm not staring at that. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go use the '90s liquid closet, and then I guess I'll go get my clothes at the airport. Okay. Hey, we're going right up the favorite nephew. Oh. I'm your only nephew. Oh. <laughs> and Ruby, oh. you look as earthy oh. as always. Oh. Is, that, is that foliage? Oh, 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 now that there is poison ivy. <laughs> See, now I grew up wrestling wild hogs in this stuff, so it don't affect me no more. <laughs> Surprise the TSA didn't catch that, though. They're probably too busy checking me out in the Nike Nike machine. <laughs> now let's see. Poison ivy means oh, two weeks since I last had a shower. You don't have running water around here. This was your father's house. Yeah, but he didn't get all rich and snooty until after mama divorced him and we moved out. Back then closets was just doorknobs. <laughs> True, but still. In two weeks? Aw, oh, no need to have a bath when you've got a bucket of pig lard. <laughs> now that there's a free tip from your Aunt Ruby. <laughs> I don't even want to follow up on that. Ooh. Uncle John, what have you been up to? Oh, living the life of a retired detective? He wasn't a detective. He was a security guard at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I was entrusted with keeping America's young safe. From what? A ski ball accident? That happened once. Oh. There was blood everywhere. Oh. <laughs> and cheese. Oh. <laughs> but also to protect him from predators and occasionally the windmill hole on the mini golf course. Protect? They don't even arm you. Oh. What do you call this? Useless. Unless you are a crossing guard in London. And you didn't retire, you was fired. <laughs> Forced to resign, wow. there's a difference. At least I left with my dignity. Well, I wish you left with a severance package. Well, I'll find a new job. As soon as I find someone who appreciates my detective skills. Well, you ain't gonna find that around here. Now, where's the ground? He's hiding. I mean, shopping. Shopping? For what? Coats. Oh, speaking of which, why don't you I hang know, it? I always carrying them around. Just hang these things up. I'm do it. Can't Ooh. wait to meet the groom. <laughs> you make <a> bear hug. <laughs> <laughs> He's dying to meet you. I will say I'm excited to see what you have prepared for the wedding brunch. Oh! <laughs> now that there is a work in progress. <laughs> well, let's see, I'm gonna go take a bath. I'm gonna need a hornet's nest and some dandelions. It's time to get this signed. I'm there. Reminds me of my ex. <laughs> oh, this house is one dead body away from being a funeral home. Know what I mean, handsome? No. Why would I? No dead bodies here. That's a bit of a fun. <laughs> anyway, this place needs pink. Lots of it. Do you mind? Brooklyn. Please call me Grandma. Grandma, you're barely older than me, and what, you were only married to Grandpa for like six months? <laughs> Which is why it's perfectly okay for me to hit on you. <laughs> I wouldn't say perfectly okay. And it wasn't six months, it was five and a half. Because according to our prenup, had we been married for six months, I would have inherited all of this. But the old man just had to croak two weeks early. Two May he rest in peace. Feel free to 
choose a guest room. <laughs> Please don't be taking the master. But the old man still has his pills stashed in the nightstand. They're all in a candy shop, am I right? <laughs> shift, right? Oh, totally. Especially when I have to capitalize something. <laughs> Take the automatic. Okay. Um, hey guys, um, hashtag first time driving. <laughs> this is good. It buys me some time. And the prison is less than a mile from here. Mom, Dad, you made it. Oh, sweetheart. I was just telling your father what I read online. <gasps> an escaped convict. Oh, how dreadful. Oh, you just keep an eye out for any wedding crashers wearing orange jumpsuits. Well, orange would be better than this. <laughs> At least our son knows how to dress for a wedding. And he does the marijuana plants. <laughs> I do not do the marijuana plants, and that's not even how you say it. <laughs> I guess you would know the correct terminology. I thought it was oregano. <clears throat> this is my way of subtly reminding our daughter that I am happy to perform at her wedding. There's nothing subtle about this. Could it be that our daughter just doesn't want magic at her wedding? Uh, everyone wants their wedding to be magical. Besides, I'm starving from all the dieting you've been putting me on. Magic is a good distraction. Oh. Case in point, here, son, pick a card, any card, except that top one. <laughs> Not the bottom one either. Jeez, Dad, is the slapping necessary? There you go. Get it nice and good. Place it on top. You cut that deck. You see, weddings are meant to be magical. Not literally. Oh, nothing about magic is literal. Not real. Not all magic is fake. Your sister's here. <laughs> Ruby, lovely as always. Uh, I see bathing regularly still hasn't caught on in West Virginia. And while magic may seem real to the untrained In eye, West Virginia, the deeper you get into the woods, the blacker and realer the magic gets. And I grew up deep in the woods. <laughs> No doubt you did. But let's leave magic to the professional, shall In we? In that case, Mr. Popper's Penguin, <laughs> let's see how your professional magic stacks up against my black magic. Forest branches, swampy moss. Here's a spell that will teach you who's boss. Showman's magic is the trickery of fools. Black magic will take you to school. A hair from your neck, a stomp on your toe. Your magic will fail, as this curse will show. Oh! <laughs> I feel slightly violated by that. <laughs> anyway, moving on is... This your card? No! <laughs> oh, what? Oh, all right. Well, Ruby, hey, can we talk? Hey, Dad, you can't just leave all this here. Ah, but a magician never cleans up after himself. <laughs> That's not how the saying goes. <laughs> well, I'll just leave this here. What is this? I wrote a screenplay. For the Lord of the Rings trilogy? <laughs> well, after all of those romantic thrillers that I've read and I watched, 
figured why not write one myself? And with your sister being head of marketing of closets, I thought she could take it on her honeymoon and read it and give me some feedback. Mom, she's not going to have any time. Why not? It's her honeymoon. She'll be busy. Right. <laughs> that reminds me of your father's and I honeymoon. Uh, <gasps> oh, those were some magic tricks. Okay, let's read some now. <laughs> <sighs> he tore her body limb from limb with his teeth. <laughs> it was like the Kool-Aid man had exploded while bursting through the wall. I'm afraid it's a little PG. Mom, this is much worse. Well, it's a zombie love story. A twist on a classic tale that has stood the test of time. This will definitely test someone's time. Well, it's a bit long because there's a number of love scenes and I like to use lots of details. <sighs> Why so many details? The characters are married! So it is beautiful. Right. <laughs> and what? Are you too busy since being kicked out of school? I resent that. I surrendered to his kiss. A part of me never wanted it to end, but our kiss ended when a part of him fell to the ground. <laughs> When I bent to pick it up, I realized it was his heart. When our eyes met again, he told me it was mine to keep forever. <laughs> Mom, wow. Thank you. Kissing, or kissing, still kissing. My goodness, Mom, downward dog. It's a yoga position. Not in this context. <laughs> Oh, right, they switched to yoga. My apologies. <laughs> Malcolm, what are you doing here? Just because I dated your sister doesn't mean I can't attend her wedding. As a friend, we are all adults, and as her friend, I'm here to show my support. Did you prepare that little speech? No. <laughs> When two adults have shared... Ah, Mrs. Peacock, pleasure as always. I met your lovely cat out front. I was ready to rescue him until I saw his information on the collar. Love the name. Oh, well, we just had to bring him along. Um, he's uh, outside, <coughs> burying his Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> and Mr. Peacock, I recognized your rather large truck outside. Barely found enough space to park my electric vehicle because of it. What is the point of a vehicle if you can't haul something with it? What do you haul with yours? That's besides the point. Besides, with a diesel, you can at least make an entrance the whole neighborhood can respect. I prefer not to create air or sound pollution. Oh, very good. Means you'll stop talking then. <laughs> My arrival is a bit of a surprise. Only because no one can hear an electric toy car pulling up. But I assure you all I will not cause any inconvenience. Oh, uh, here is a list of my dietary restrictions. <laughs> really? I know it's also a surprise to hear that I have a delicate stomach. No, that is definitely not surprising. And can you prepare a vegan option for the wedding brunch? Look, when I chose to become vegan, I knew I'd be sacrificing a lot. Do you want to know the only thing harder than being a vegan? It's catering to one. Oh, and why is it that I have never met a vegan who has not told me they're a vegan within two minutes of meeting them? <laughs> so let me explain veganism this way. How would you like if someone killed your cat, cooked it, then ate it? What's the difference between that and the cow! Obviously, one tastes good! <laughs> oh, oh, and you cannot milk a cat. Yes, you can! <laughs> Two pints a day! <laughs> it's all sentient life! It's all the same value! I pride myself on the fact that I have not eaten a salad in years. 
Oh, but now, come to think of it, you should probably spend a little more time with my son, because apparently you both love plants. Oregano, Dad. Oh, I do love me some oregano. But which variety is your favorite? Syrian, ornamental, sweet marjoram? It, it is no wonder that you, of all people, could not get my blessing to marry my daughter. Ah, you think we needed that? She's an independent woman, not chattel. Oh, ch chattel, is it? Ah, so you're comparing to animals in a negative way. Well, which is it, Mr. High and Mighty? Animals are equal to us, or they're not. Marriage is an outdated ritual perpetuated by patriarchal society to control women as property. Monogamy is unnatural and oppressive. And I don't need the government signing off on my personal life. Well, I actually agree with that last line. <laughs> Everything else, liberal hogwash. I like this kid's thoughts on monogamy. <laughs> oh no, she's back. That laugh, it sounds like a goat being tortured. Or a horse in labor. More like a dolphin's mating call. Oh, why? Did that one work on you? No. <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> dolphins are highly intelligent creatures. <clears throat> Why is she here? Why is he here? Such dishonesty does not belong in our family. Right, sister? Right! Oh, well, such leftism doesn't belong anywhere near our family either. <clears throat> Wasn't the wedding brunch limited to family? Sweetie, if I wanted, I could steal your husband and start my own family. <laughs> whoa, oh, what was that for? at the hypothetical you! Uh, you can tell we're not welcome here. Oh, very good then. We finally seem to agree on something. Oh, oh, sweetheart. The hypothetical me owes you another hypothetical apology. The worst is when she wakes up after dreaming I've done something wrong. <laughs> My own stepchildren don't want me here. Again, we'll grab our coats and leave. Coats? Coats? Don't be silly! Don't be silly! Anyone who marries grandpa for money is family! Anyone who dates and dumps my sister is family! The wedding brunch begins soon, so why don't you both make yourselves at home? Thank you, brother. And you know what? We are all family. And I'm sure you'd agree that <clears throat> when two adults have shared a lot, just go get your things. You need a date to the wedding? <laughs> I have a girlfriend. Didn't you hear? Monogamy is unnatural and oppressive. Hey, what was it you wanted me to call you earlier? Grandma? Well, now I don't like it calling me that. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm no longer in my 20s. <laughs> All right, late 20s. Okay, we'll compromise. Call me Glamour. <laughs> I'm just using that to blend in as one of the guests. Oh, by the way, those rumors I heard about you falling in love and settling down, those better not be true, okay? It's too late for you and me. We gotta stop planning our next heist. Oh, crap, I gotta go. What have I done? Ah! I ran over their pet cat while reparking. <laughs> they couldn't hear me backing up. <laughs> I, I need to hide the body! This 
bland place. Oh, and speaking of spice, if it isn't my favorite butler, Charles, what are you doing? Me? Uh, I, I, was, I, I, I was just cleaning. Mm, yeah. Clean, clean, clean. I thought you were French. Uh, oui, oui. Zutolo, I have been swan. Sacre bleu, what is this? How on earth could I miss such a sweet little succulent crab? Are you quoting the little mermaid? Uh, he 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 ho ho ho, how I love my poisson. You're also shorter than I remember. And rounder. And paler. Oh, but I like them pale. Easier to make them blush. <laughs> now, follow me to the laundry. I don't think the sheets have been changed and the masses of the old man croaked in them. Yuck! Ugh. I've got to move that body so people can get their coats. Oh. Hey, sis. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. What? what? What is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. Mm, you're standing weird. I'm stretching. Down, downward dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, you look like you're hiding something. <laughs> of course not. Go ahead. Look behind the door. Why would I want to do that? Actually, don't. Ooh, well, now I want to. <laughs> uh, is it a surprise? Yes, very much so. <laughs> Good. I've been wondering if you were going to get me a wedding gift. Exactly. And I've got something I'd like to talk to you about. <laughs> Malcolm? <gasps> My apologies. I'm not supposed to see the bride before she takes the aisle. That rule is for the groom. Why are you here? Oh, uh, <clears throat> we're adults, and as her friend, your friend, I am here to show her you. <laughs> How many of these note cards do you have? But uh, no one goes to their ex's wedding. I am above such pettiness. And as a friend, I want to verify that the groom makes you happy. For example, what does he have that I don't, that other men don't? Well, for one, he's tough. And he goes after what he wants. He's a real man. Sounds toxic. <laughs> <laughs> it's chemistry. Well, just know that as a friend, I am always here for you. Except right now I have to leave. Oh, well, I will admit that you've always been amazing at gift giving. You have this way of boxing up the unimaginable. Uh. <laughs> mm, give me. Nope, just no. He still has feelings for you. <laughs> and that's the first time I've seen you smile all day. Oh, I know. It's just, well, a wedding is a time in a girl's life when she's supposed to be pampered and, and celebrated. And I've hardly gotten any gifts. And no one's even bothered to throw me a bachelorette party. I mean, what's the point of getting married if you can't have a bachelorette party? <laughs> you know what daddy used to do when I was feeling down? Hmm. He would surprise me with a bouquet of tulips and say, because your tulips should be smiling. Hmm. I could really use that today, but no. Instead, he and everybody else are just running around distracted. It's like herding cats. <laughs> <laughs> and to top it all off, I can't even find my husband to me. Uh, Have you seen Bernie? Who, me? Not. Oh, I'm worried he's run off. I mean, I did see him, but he's definitely not running off anywhere. <sighs> did he look nervous? Like, like hands shaking or, or pacing about? Wasn't even moving. <laughs> I'm 
worried he's gotten cold feet. Well, yeah. <laughs> but not like you think. Oh, promise me this. Hmm. The next time you see him, tell him, I love you, and you'll always be the Robin Hood to my maid, Marion. What? It's the first movie we held hands to. Okay, I promise I'll let him know. Thank you. I'm excited to meet this new girlfriend. Mom says she's too young. So, uh, how old is she? She's, uh, she's, she's like in her 20s. Hmm, okay, so like how far into her? Almost. <laughs> I plan on proposing after the wedding. Oh, wow. That is fast. <laughs> But you've always been one to go after what you want. Congratulations. Thanks, sis. Speaking of proposals, I've got these papers here. Has anybody seen Bernie? I am also looking for my husband to be. Not the groom, the cat. And why did you pick somebody with the same name as our pet? It is confusing. <laughs> Mom, no one is going to confuse my Bernie for the cat. And besides, I know the real reason why you don't like Bernie. It's because he's not religious enough for you. Well, I raised you a certain way. You could have at least had a priest conduct the wedding. No. Oh, but that's not all of it. I get a sense that he's hiding something. And another oh, thing. Oh, hold on. <laughs> all right, now let's let's not hash this out on the wedding day, shall we? Oh, if only somebody had a special skill set that could lighten the mood. <clears throat> Abra, Cadabra, fly! Hold on, there should be a dove flying out of here when I... Oh. Oh. <laughs> How long has that been there? Well, <clears throat> magic is all about the preparation, so... Naturally, I prepare weeks in advance. Because <laughs> you can never have too much preparation. But clearly you can. Ow. <gasps> oh, no. the rabbit. Dad, you can't just leave all these here. Oh, please, a magician never cleans up after himself. <laughs> it's a magician never reveals his secrets. Oh, we better go and help him. We don't want another incident like the last children's birthday party he performed at. The screams still keep me up at night. All right, all right. But quickly. Oh. Charles, you look shorter than the last time I saw you. And rounder. Oh. There's a crazy woman after me! Oh, that explains why he looks so pale. Mom, one thing at a time. Oh, right, your father. <gasps> oh, it's soft. <laughs> and warm. And slimy? Oh, I gotta get in there. Ow! That felt like a claw scratch. Malcolm! <clears throat> Do you remember how you used to kiss my hand whenever you entered a room? <laughs> Shall we? For old time's sake. <laughs>
Looks like we both have secrets. But what of the police costume? Look, that crazy Joycey lady has been all over me all night, like a redneck to a Bud Light. <laughs> as a butler, I can't say no, but as a cop, I have a bit more authority. Yeah, but why would a cop be around here? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. <laughs> oh, 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 I got you covered! <laughs> ladies! Oh, ladies, get around! Oh, I got a surprise Wait. for you! Oh, yes! <laughs> hey, 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 come on over here! Where is that candlestick? Ah! What did you... <laughs> yes! I am getting a bachelorette party! <laughs> invited to a bachelorette party. Oh, oh. 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 oh! I do not feel comfortable with this. Ah, loosen up for once! You're like a nun, except the dress wars. <laughs> I'm just happy I'm getting a party. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> you ladies are under arrest. Which law? The one that makes it illegal to be hot. <laughs> okay, uh, <clears throat> I followed a trail of blood and guts here. Nothing says attractive like blood and guts. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you put your left foot in, you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and you shake it all about. This is disappointing. I'm digging it. <laughs> Can we get a refund? Ooh. Well, I like him. Look, ladies, I, I really think there's been a misunderstanding here. Oh, I love a good misunderstanding. <laughs> that, that doesn't even make sense. You can't just repeat the word seductively and automatically give it a second meaning. Oh, it has a second meaning. <laughs> Woo! Now would be an excellent time to try on those new jeans I haven't been able to fit into. Uh. Officer, what brings you here? Wrong desire! <laughs> No! An investigation, what else? You can just move along. Nothing to see here. Oh, speak for yourself, Malcolm! There's plenty to see here. <laughs> if you received a report of a dead animal, I assure you it's a false report. <laughs> We've been receiving reports about some items going missing in the area. Apparently it's the work of a cat burglar. Yes, a cat burglar. A thief who steals cats. That is why the cat is missing. Are they going to dance together? All allowed. <laughs> yes. should be kept in their natural habitat, indoors. <laughs> oh, oh, uh. oh. Brooklyn, you better come help me intervene. I know better than to leave you in the same room with a man with a pair of handcuffs. <laughs> Don't you go anywhere. We still haven't done any uh, search and seizure. <laughs> <laughs> I will get my hands on that candlestick. Yeah, but not before Brooklyn gets her hands on you. And she's relentless. How do you think she got my father? I just need to find a costume that no one would dare hit on. Man. You wait. By the way, you smell like possum. <laughs> well, duh. I would not go to a fancy wedding without putting on possum oil. Gives a girl a certain glow. <laughs> uh, 
That was my chance. This reminds me, my sister wants you to know that <clears throat> I love you. <laughs> You'll always be the Robin Hood to my maid Mary. <laughs> Did I interrupt? <laughs> uh, he's, uh, it's, a, it's so funny. He, oh, I guess at this point the truth is the best option. He's dead. What? What happened? I don't know. But I wish we had a detective to figure it out. Oh. Well, I did swear an oath to uphold the Constitution. And by Constitution, I mean the Chuck E. Cheese mission statement. They're oddly similar. I need you to secretly investigate how he died. The only reasonable explanation is he was murdered. And everyone here is suspect, including you, including me. I could be a murderer. Look, it wasn't us. But yes, look for any foul play. Oh, this is the moment I've been waiting for. Thank you. And thank you, Brad. <laughs> Though I must warn you, I'm, I'm terrible on my feet when it comes to lying, and well, it makes me pass out. Okay, we can discuss your career choices later. For now, help me move him to the storage closet. Right. Okay. This way, come on. What are you three scheming about? Oh, hey, Brooklyn. Uh, we, we were just planning uh, we were planning our, uh, uh, synchronized swimming routine. Aww. I support anything involving speedos. Well, let's see it. synchronized swimming camp in middle school. Really? I was subsequently bullied for many years. Uh, <laughs> yep. Hey, how did you lose your job anyway? The infamous cat burglar. You're joking, right? Cat burglar at Chuck E. Cheese? She was sly as a cat stealing prizes. Some of them worth hundreds of tickets. She never put in her time at the arcade like the rest of us had to. The best description I got is that she had red, raggedy hair, normally wore an apron, 
It was about this height. They said she smelled a possum. It's actually had access to my security key. One day, they found a bunch of stolen Chuck E. Cheese merchandise in my home. Oh, the cat burglar framed me. I was always just one step behind her. Oh, hi, honey. Speaking of cats, there's a dead cat in this bag. Oh, been dead less than 10 minutes. How can you be so sure? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh my, I do not remember hiding a cat. <laughs> this can only be the work of our arch nemesis. Oh, that's right. Clauses. Oh, how sick and twisted of them. They can't even let us enjoy a, a day of celebration. Oh, it's like the horse's head in the Godfather. They're warning us that they're raising the stakes and they won't quit until closets is owned by closets. Oh, the plot gets thickier. <sighs> It's the plot thickens, and you're all just as paranoid as Grandpa was. I gotta talk to Sis. Oh, and I got myself a second case. Second? What was your first one? Oh, oh no, no, now you're doing that sneaky, sneaky bit. <laughs> kind of like the time when we went to Jenny's. was cute! <laughs> I'm just uncomfortable being alone with you. <laughs> Here, kitty, kitty, kitty! Redeemable at Chuck E. Cheese. What like gifts are for the bride and groom? <laughs> Has anybody seen Bernie? Uh, yep, he's alive and well. Why do you keep saying that? Why wouldn't he? Sweet little Bernie is very much alive and well. <laughs> Maybe he's bathing. Yes, in Outside. the bathroom. What? Uh I'll go check the bathroom. Uh, hey, uh, how dare you? Well, Mom and Dad are here? Yeah, how dare you? Ah, uh, you're right. Mom would freak. Okay, well, when you see him, please let me know. I want to give him lots of kisses. Oh, I can give them to him for you. <laughs> Heck, I'll even scratch his tummy for you. <laughs> How do you know about Bernie? I found his body earlier. I thought I hit it better. <laughs> it was you? Well, if he'd been taught not to lick himself in the middle of the driveway. <laughs> what? <laughs> you terrible at hiding things. Terrible at hiding? I hit him so well I can't find him. <laughs> He's in the storage closet. Oh, look. I knew you were jealous of him, but this jealous? Okay, maybe a little. <laughs> I wouldn't mind sitting around all day looking pretty. <laughs> but it was an honest accident. What is wrong with you? Look, I don't want her to find out quite yet either. So why don't we work together? Then, once everything's in order, we call the cops. Call on the cops, a bit overboard. Well, it's not like we can just bury them in the backyard. Yes, we can. What? <laughs> When earlier I said all life is equal, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Mr. Peacock! Um, I have a friend who is trying to win over a woman from another guy, but he fears that maybe he isn't manly enough. I plan to advise this friend, but I thought I should share some of your tips, since, well, clearly you are the alpha male of this family. <laughs> uh, excuse me? of the word manly when I see someone dressed up as Mr. Peanut. Well, what's more manly than nuts? <laughs> Mom's right. 
magicians aren't very manly. I beg to differ. For example, haven't you ever seen the movie Magic Mike? <laughs> look pretty manly. <laughs> well, by the look of things, there aren't enough manly men in these younger generations, so sure, I'd be happy to give you a few of my alpha male tips. I need that intimidation factor. I mean, my friend needs it. Okay, well, all right, well, first things first, when you come across the other guy, never say the first word. Silence is intimidating. Second, oh, and this one's important, no matter what, never back down. Whatever he does, you do. Only you're going to mirror it and go bigger. <laughs> sure. You should not be comfortable until he's uncomfortable. <laughs> Profound. OK, OK, so silence, mirror, go bigger. I can feel the testosterone building already. Ugh, gee, teaching men how to out-masculine other men. Just what we need in the world today. Oh, son, will you read with me? I printed a second copy. Mom, two copies? The Amazon jungle can only handle so much of your writing, OK? And what's the end goal here? Oh, to get published. Oh, Mom. It's a little late in life to be chasing such a big dream. You should be content with what you've already done. I mean, you've raised such wonderful kids. Okay-ish kids. I gotta talk to sis. Well, you're probably right. Besides, you don't fit the male role anyway. Before becoming a zombie, he's kind of a whiny, desperate type. the crime scene, according to Netflix. <laughs> All I've got to do is restage it, catch him off guard, voila, case solved. <laughs> oh no! Another victim! Oh, Bernie! Perfect! You get to be the victim! <clears throat> My love, these senseless kills have got to stop! Don't you see? I am a zombie. That is what zombies do. Senseless killings. I feel like asking you to stop being beautiful. slumps over. Evidence of our love, so the whole world knows. Okay, I'm gonna breathe. 
<laughs> I have delicate elbows. They haven't been this tired since I rescued a dozen paralyzed wild animals. Only to find out there was a taxidermy convention in town. <laughs> Plus all this flesh-eating talk gets my stomach churning. Well, find me when you're done. Oh, and then Malcolm, you're pretty good at this! I've been secretly taking acting classes. I've been told I have the look by my mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's no longer a secret. The cat is out of the bag. <laughs> Unless I can get a recorded confession. Ruby's father always left a tape recorder in his study. He liked to record himself when clouds of inspiration struck. I don't think it was used much. <laughs> don't worry, young fella. We'll catch him. And the game's a feat! <laughs> Oh. 
Well, anyway, I know exactly who you need to talk to. This is Bernie. You don't know that he's dead? Dead? Deadly afraid of the truth. Oh, I couldn't have said that better myself. <clears throat> Bernie, this is Father Jones. Oh, uh, uh, Shalom. <laughs> This one needs a lot of work. <clears throat> Brooklyn, dear, come here, please. <laughs> oh, hello, father. <laughs> really? <laughs> or should I say, daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn, this man has a special message. Oh. Um. Why don't you recite us your favorite song from King David? From Ki King David, right. Uh, <clears throat> page 130. <gasps> Peasants! <laughs> Thy king is here. The princess has been kidnapped. We need a prince to save her. I need to read that book more often. <laughs> you must be new. Uh, why don't you teach us about the Ten Commandments? Ten of them? Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, of course. Uh, see, thou shalt not convert. No, no, convert, convertible. Uh, thou shalt not commit murder. Thou shalt not judge. And thou shalt not commit adultery. But that one's easy to repent of, right? No. Even better. Oh. <laughs> I think that we should let Bernie pick a topic he's most interested in learning. Oh, let's see, there's a forgiveness and humility and the afterlife. Probably that one. <laughs> you know what? Let's keep things simpler. Bernie, Brooklyn, you know what you're doing is good when you feel warm and tingly inside. <laughs> I've never felt that way. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm a bad person. Oh, excuse me? Uh, in your opinion, let's say that someone is so afraid of rejection that he flees the moment he feels like somebody begins to care. Instead, choosing a life of crime and adrenaline, leaving a trail of destruction in his wake! Oh. Is there any hope for him? My, that is a lot to unpack. Uh, but yes, it is never too late to change. <laughs> oh, 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 he needs to listen to this too. He has a problem. <laughs> he plays the flute? No, 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 no. He plays the flute too fast. Oh, oh, I know, I know. Uh, he eats sandwiches weird. <laughs> the way, and FYI, I could use a good exorcism. <laughs> Lady, that is the first thing you've said all night I actually agree with. <laughs> oh, good. Nobody saw you. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have left a body unattended. I'm sure nothing happened. Let's get you back in that closet. my great escape? <laughs> sure. But most men trying to escape may usually just get a restraining order or whatever. <laughs> oh, 
please don't make me regret this. <laughs> All right, first things first, the blindfold. And then, to show that I am not wearing any hidden keys, I will remove my shirt. Okay, if you're trying to seduce me, it ain't gonna work. After my deep and insightful conversation with the groom, I have sworn off married men. How very honorable of you. Now, you're such a Girl Scout, handcuff me. Okay, well, where's the bedpost? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, all done. All right. Oh, no, 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 Brooklyn! Both of my wrists! Well, you should have been clearer. Where's the key? The key? I, I couldn't reveal that. That'd be breaking the magician's code. That is the dorkiest thing I've ever heard! And I did it Ross Perot! <laughs> Trust me, you do not want to be around when I switch out my hair. We have a lot of men don't come back from that. Oh, okay. The key. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> Seth, oh, I have to regurgitate it. What? Hold on. <laughs> no, please don't do that. <laughs> issues have made me quite hangry. Will there be a vegan option? Vegan? Oh, right. These sausages are vegan. I was just taking them outside the coat. Well, why don't I earn my keep and take them outside for you? Huh. Do you mind? Oh. Well, just make sure you grab a coat. Otherwise, you'll be shaking in your boots like a possum on my cotton board. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if I'm assaulting it or it's assaulting me. Oh, I could show you some of that fish net. Ooh, oh, oh, fragile. Huh. Now that must be Italian. Oh, give me some of that. I need some of that fish net. It says fragile. Oh, it's awful. Oh. what we overheard while we were in there. My wife is having an affair with another man. And with Malcolm? Oh, so soft skin, luscious hair, and legs that go on for days. It describes him perfectly. Uh. Oh, no wonder she has me dieting all the time. She's no longer attracted to me. Uh, all right, Look, maybe if you ditch the magic stick. Oh, please, this... This bad boy is a part of the uniform. Oh, it's not a stick. Not that stick. And it's not a uniform. It's a costume. Oh. It's time to stop playing dress up. Oh, come on, Brooklyn. Magic is the coolest thing about me. You know what? You just ask any single one of my Navy SEAL friends. They'll tell you. <laughs> you were a Navy SEAL? Lead with that, not Siegfried and Roy. No woman wants to hear about the time I rescued an entire family from a sinking ship. Oh, I should have known Malcolm was the one asking for advice for this friend of his. Oh, and how to steal another man's woman. First, I'm teaching him how to be the alpha male, and then he's alpha male in me. Wait, taught him too well. <laughs> but I'm gonna scan that old so soft skin of his. All right, will you just relax? The last thing this wedding needs is a dead body. Put your relationship with your daughter first. Oh, relationship, Brooklyn? What do you know about relationships? You seem to fall for the first thing that gives you attention. You've been through what? How many marriages now? 
Oh, yeah, okay, that's my point. Brooklyn, you need to slow things down. And where has slowing things down gotten you, a cuckold? Hello? Is anyone home? Do you like five or six bucks? Help me with this luggage. Hello? Oh, hello? You must be Julie. Oh. I brought our family photo oh. album. This one's my favorite. It's his ninth grade school picture oh. when he's wearing his headgear. Oh. <sighs> Distracted from his acne. Oh. Um, it, it, it's nice to meet you. Oh. Uh, Hi! Again! Oh. I'm, I'm going to just put away my coat and then we'll catch up, clean up. Oh. 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 This one. Oh. 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 I can explain! Oh. Oh. Just yes. pretend like oh, we didn't see oh, that. <laughs> about to regain consciousness and I will not have my family scaring her off because of how weird we are. Oh, come on. We're not weird. <laughs> Where's Malcolm? Oh. Where's Malcolm? Huh. Don't worry. He's still passed out, so I've put him in the coat closet, rather uncarefully, I might add, and locked it. Oh. Hey. Well, you were the one that was in the closet with that. Mom, Dad, not now. Just everyone try to be normal. Why don't you be the opposite of yourselves? Opposite? What do you mean, opposite? Oh, oh she's waking up. Disperse! Oh. Go startle her! Oh, go! Oh, go! It's dead! Oh, 
I brought it charging. Wait a minute, how did I end up here? Well, you came in, you said you weren't feeling well, and then you passed out. Nothing else happened. I mean, I remember lots of doors and, and weird things behind them, and a body? Oh, uh, <laughs> must have been a bad dream. My family is so normal. <laughs> Let's meet them. Okay. Gather round. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, oh. Hello. I'm his father, oh. and... Oh, right. Uh, magic is dumb. And I'm his widowed glamma. It would be inappropriate for me to pursue every male I see, so I don't. Also, I'm not from New Jersey. Am I doing this right? <coughs> and in case anybody forgot, I'm his wife. Purchase Lane. But what I really love is my faithful husband. Oh, and, and I sure love my faithful wife. Thank you for sharing all that. Uh, um, does anybody else hear that? Hear what? Um, like knocking? It's pretty clear. Right. Uh, Uncle John? Oh, would you answer the closet? Right away. <laughs> in there, just that casual. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Oh, there are a lot of things wrong with this man. But for starters, he is anti-capitalism. Oh, so am I. I only text in lowercase. <laughs> <laughs> what he meant to say was, Malcolm was in there because he is our coat butler. Oh, wait, why was he in the mannequin closet? Right, <laughs> right. We put coats on all of our mannequins. We can't have naked mannequins lounging around. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to your room. Yeah. Oh, give it to the coat butler. And off we go. Oh, we got a problem. What? I need to use the restroom. Stand us it. Stand. Oh, we can make it work. I've been in this situation before. left in there were a cowboy and a construction worker. Huh. I swear it's like your father was running the whole YMCA out of that thing. Yeah. <laughs> and with her around, there is no way I am wearing a tool belt or leather chaps. <laughs> oh, I can't reach the oh, toilet. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> I could have sworn I saw Bernie alive, standing right there. Oh, I knew it! Zombies! No! No! Gosh, I must have dreamt it. It's all so foggy. Anyway, when I came to, the body was there on the floor, so I moved him to the storage closet. And get this! Someone else must have moved him earlier, too. Oh, who would do such a thing? <laughs> We have to keep better tabs on it. So it's not like you can just get up and walk on out of here. I know, I helped you move it. Yeah. What are you two scheming about? Uh, Synchronized swimming. <laughs> no, no, no. I 
now fully believe in Grandpa's concern that Closets is trying to take over Closets, and so Uncle John here is going to investigate for any intruders. <laughs> and thanks to my brilliant detective skills, I can spot an intruder a mile away! Butler, ah! Please get me a notebook. Oh, oh. Oh, whew. uh, my pistol. Aha. Isn't Dad Butler the best? I've never heard him say no to a task. He's loyal. Sigh! Hi! Well, you're at it. See, I'm not quite a mess in there when I was defeathering them dogs and skinning the cat. <laughs> I left what looks like a pillow fight's gone bloody. <laughs> You want me to clean up a dead cat? <laughs> I, I mean, uh, my pleasure? Ah. You see, with all these my pleasures, he's like a walking Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> and this chick could use a filet. No, Brooklyn. I will not have you ruin Chick-fil-A. It's the last wholesome thing we have. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Naked mannequins! <laughs> no, no, not that. I don't even know why you would think of that. All right, just the thing that struck me as funny was in the house tonight, we have the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. Uh... <laughs> oh, 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 and get this. Animal lover here, first he kills the cat, and then he eats it. You cannot make this up! <laughs> It may not be that funny. And with that reminder, back to the ivory oh. throne. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm so sorry, sweetie. Oh, it looks like, it looks like you could use a handkerchief. I know that one. All right. Abra. Cadabra. Oh, that's oh. mine. Oh. your magic to make whatever's in the storage closet disappear. Sure, son. Let me just ring that order up for you. Well, yeah. Abracadabra. No, don't open that. Disappear. How did you do that? Um, a magician never reveals his secrets. <laughs> That's not how this... You said it right that time. Dad, bring it back! Oh, honestly, son, I didn't do any magic right there, because, you know, magic is all oh, about the preparation. preparation. We, we know. know. This is not good. Oh, Chewbacca, I don't even know what I'm doing wrong anymore, except for... Except for you! Oh, Ruby, you cursed me! Oh, if you're gonna be a stinker of a swamp monster, you need to remove the curse. You think you can buy me off? Most definitely. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> well. Ow. To break the spell of the forest coast, one thing can turn from bad to well. When magic ain't cool, when magic is terse, spill the blood of a fool to break the curse. Spill the blood of a fool to break the curse. <gasps> oh. Come on, Brooklyn. I'm going to need a knife. Uh, <laughs> uh, sweetheart, one question. <clears throat> Why were you hiding half a curio cabinet of silver in your dress? Oh. 
Oh, oh, I'm gonna have to ease into that one. <clears throat> I am the cat burglar. What? <laughs> well, I guess I didn't quite ease into that, did I? My own wife? But why? Cause, honey, our bank account is as empty as others on a bowl. <laughs> Take this wedding, for example. We could not afford to fly our girls out, so I had to leave them with our neighbor to babysit. Creepy Joe? Yup. But he's creepy. Yeah, but he's also free. Don't worry, he just looks creepy because he's missing both eyes and can't hear none. <laughs> well, now I'm even more concerned. Well, exactly my point. And to top it off, I volunteered to make the wedding brunch. Well, we ain't got no money to buy food. Luckily, I keep stumbling across meat. <laughs> and in the weirdest of places. Look, I only ever stole because you don't bring home enough money to cover our bills. And also, because it's fun. <laughs> well, that doesn't justify it. I, I can't believe this. What if I started a career? Why? So you can humiliate me even more? No, it's not like that. See, I've been at home raising our girls, and they're in school now, and I just... Look, I'm a good cook, and I've learned to be quite resourceful, and I've always dreamed of having my own restaurant, and I need your help to get me started. See, all this veganism talk has got me thinking. There's all this roadkill goes to waste. <laughs> Why not put it to good use? Oh, oh, I even thought of a name for my menu. From ditch to table. <laughs> you could choose from venison rumble strips, jacked up jackrabbit, liberty bell turtle shell, or... Pinched possum pinkies. Ooh, wait, the pinkies are the best part. And as they say, marketing is 99% alliteration. Oh, nobody says that. Restaurants especially don't use alliteration. I would know. I worked at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> what was that slogan? Almost put you out of business. Peter Piper Pizza is the pizza people pick. Oh, Peter Piper Pizza is not the pizza people oh. pick. Enough of this. It's up to me to provide for this family. And it was your own father who often said, never let anything get in between you and what's most important to you. Mark my words. I will become a detective. stopped working and so I may have propelled vomit everywhere. If you don't mind cleaning it up. I place it up. I even break out of prison at this rate. Twice as many chores as I did in there. You know it's Taco Tuesday back in the cafeteria. Taco Tuesday was my favorite. <laughs> Mom! There you are. Remember how Grandpa requested that if you were to marry, you would have first turned the company over to me? Right, because building closets is for husbands and filling it up with useless <laughs> junk is for wives. Ugh, I thought we weren't taking this seriously. I just... It is his legacy, and it was his dying wish. What's this really about? I don't dare ask for Julie's hand if I don't first have something to show for myself. If I outright own closets, at least on paper, there's no way her father won't give me his blessing. And, and you'd still be director of operations and marketing. Oh, well, it is what Grandpa wanted. 
But more importantly, if marrying this girl really makes you happy, then maybe we can work something out. You know, I really appreciate you being honest with me. I was getting this feeling that you were hiding something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish that I too could end up with true love. You're about to be married. Oh, my true love is and always has been Malcolm. I was just using Bernie to make Malcolm jealous so he'd man up and come after me. What an awful plan. That worked. We'll call the wedding off and marry Malcolm. Mm, there's one teensy problem. What? Bernie and I eloped. <laughs> I know! It was his idea! And, and oh, everything was just so rushed, and I was feeling really hopeless because Malcolm hadn't come after me, and I thought, well, maybe it'd be romantic. But it just wasn't, because I'm not even into the guy. I mean, yeah, sure, he's handsome and always the life of the party. <laughs> and the fact that Mom hated him made me want him even more. <laughs> oh. oh, but he's just not the one. And now I'm stuck in this marriage for the rest of my life. Oh, oh I can't think straight to read this right now. Oh. <sighs> what if I told you that Bernie is not alive? Well, that would be convenient. I'm serious. I found his body earlier. I'm sure you're wondering what happened, why we didn't tell you, if he suffered. Does Malcolm know? This is my chance to true love! And you deserve love! I'm gonna sign this right now, knowing that I have a second chance with Malcolm now that Bernie's gone! <clears throat> May he rest in peace. <clears throat> <laughs> Malcolm's right, this is nice. <laughs> Say, why don't you uh, read that in your room and we can discuss signing later. Take your time. While you're at it, read that too. <laughs> we need to discuss my theory of the case. Zombies! Zombies? Oh my gosh. Zombies are no realer than Bigfoot. Oh! Bigfoot! <laughs> I knew you'd protect us one day! I'll take care of that. Why don't you go show Aunt Ruby how important your baton ended up being? Oh, oh she's gonna be so embarrassed! <laughs> to send for someone to fix the light fixtures before we have any more spills. <laughs> Very funny, Charles. We all heard Dad brag about the many skills his butler had, electrician being the least of them. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> Bernie, where have you been? I came out of the closet. Oh. I knew there was something. That was very brave of you. <clears throat> you know, Malcolm, I would have fully expected, but you... <laughs> Darn it, one less option. The gays always get the cutest ones. <laughs> Not figuratively, literally. Why do I keep waking up in random places? Oh. I thought you were dead. What? So I kept hiding you. That explanation doesn't help. Why does it feel like I've been dropped repeatedly? Oh. Oh. Don't be silly. The important question is, why were you unconscious to begin with? I don't know. Um, wait. Oh. 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 Are my teeth falling out? Oh. Never mind that. Bernie, Bernie. Try to remember the last thing that happened before you went unconscious. Better yet, reenact it. It'll help you remember. Well, uh, I was in the bathroom. Go on. Taking my vitamins. Mm -hmm. But I was distracted. Why were you distracted? We have to know every detail. Uh, 
I was singing a song that I made up. Well, go on, sing it. <clears throat> right now? Yeah, come on. <clears throat> uh, got my honeymoon tonight. Reservation at the inn. After tonight, no longer the Jim from senior year, but tonight I'll show him. Oh. But not literally. Oh shit. Cause that would be weird. I've gotta shave my chest oh. and maybe my arms and definitely my legs. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Enough of the song. Okay. Oh, speak for yourself. You was getting to the best part. You can borrow. If you know what I mean. I don't. <laughs> Can't even imagine. I don't try to imagine anything she says. Oh. And I too am saving myself for marriage. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm Brooklyn. Nice to meet you. Oh. Why isn't my arm working? <laughs> well, I slammed it in the closet door. I was pretending you were a mannequin. Why? Am I even asking questions? <laughs> you! Oh, Malcolm, it is my time to reclaim my spot as the alpha male. Oh. Oh, Usually when somebody's doing that, it means you should get ready to duck. What is wrong with you people? Oh, well, if I spill the blood of a fool, the curse gets lifted. So, Malcolm, you better get to using those legs that go on for days. I'm ready now! I've discovered that woman's coats fit me better. Ugh. Never mind all this! You, keep going, we've almost figured this out. Oh. Uh, okay. okay. Well, after I finish my totally normal song, I reach into my pocket and I find what are actually my vitamins. So I check the first bottle and it's for sleeping pills. Oh. They must have been left over from your grandpa and somehow I confused them. Oh, vitamin C? More like vitamin C in the morning. <laughs> is she always this funny? Oh, just be glad it wasn't sexual. Oh, it was. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh. Oh, oh, no, let's do that. Anyway, I remember reading the label. Warning! Only one sleeping pill in 24 hours. And the last thing I thought was, oh, no. My virginity! <laughs> well, at least I'm being honest. Which I'm not sure the same can be said of all of you. All of you! <laughs> You must have lost your balance, hit your head, and passed out on the couch, and that's when I found you. How many pills did you take? Sixteen. Whoa. You take sixteen vitamins? Have you seen my abs? Oh. Or... Suddenly I don't feel bad for you at all. Well, at least now people can stop hitting me over the head. Oh, zombie! Oh, oh. Backup generator will kick on here soon. Hey, who's touching my thigh? Uh, oops, I thought it was an armrest. The lights were off for like a second. Ah! Oh no! Which one of the ladies is hurt? That was me. <laughs> my glasses fell off and now I can't find them. I have a lighter if anyone can find the missing candlestick. <laughs> of course you would have a lighter. How else would you? Do the pot! <laughs> Did I say it right this time? No! Why are you so ornery? Well, I don't know. Maybe because my husband is handcuffed to another woman. And not just any woman, a Jezebel! Oh, Mom, no one's gonna understand that reference. <laughs> Someone could find my fashionable lamp. Fashionable? It's a leg. It's Italian! 
from a small town called Fragile. <laughs> it has batteries. If someone can find it, they can turn it on. I would die before I turn that on. <laughs> Apparently, that's the same attitude you have with your husband. <laughs> oh! Brooklyn, let's find out how Fragile this lamp really is. Oh, oh. Well, that is rather sound logic, but how would I do it? <laughs> I'm not dead. Oh. I'm looking to see if my glasses are under the couch. Oh. <laughs> Why are you laying down so weird? This is a perfectly normal way to lay down. Oh. You're the one hugging a leg. <laughs> I knew she liked it. And now are you to claim it's weird? How the groom is laying down? Ah, he's dead! He's not actually dead. Hey, Sherlock's dead. Let me see. Yep, been dead less than one minute. I'll be taking charge since I'm the only one here who swore an oath to uphold the Constitution. Chuck E. Cheese mission statement! Oh, they're practically the same thing. Uh, Quickly, move him to the couch. Uh, shouldn't we like too many movies. Oh, that's better. My feet were getting tired. Oh, 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 everyone, I'm sorry. This is my fault. Every time I practice magic, something ends up dead. Exhibit C. Oh, I knew it! Foul play! Really? Oh, poor Bernie, he never even saw my magic coming. No, no. It was me. Oh, I ran him over. Oh, it's true, he never saw it coming or heard it. <laughs> well, he don't look ran over. We were talking about the cat, right? Oh, no. oh, it wasn't either of your faults. For I have solved it thanks to my brilliant detective work. The murderer is the only suspect to have fled. The butler. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did anybody else feel all warm and tingly inside? <gasps> I am a good person! Oh. <laughs> you electrocuted yourself, causing the lights to go out! Oh, Hannah took away his accents! Yes. Well, if it isn't him, then it must be Mrs. Peacock with the candlestick in the conservatory! Oh. <laughs> is helping because he's jealous of the groom. Oh. Plus, he's a flesh-eating zombie. Oh. Oh. I can attest to that. This man is definitely a liberal. Oh. <laughs> this is absurd. I am not jealous of the groom or his abs. <laughs> if someone would please remove the groom's clothes, then you will find bite marks. Oh. If you insist. Oh. <laughs> Please, he's not even on my list of people I want said. You have a list? 
Oh, doesn't everybody? And coincidentally, Amir is my list of most attractive to least attractive. Oh no! That means I'm next! <laughs> Obviously! Sweetie, you are very clearly at the bottom. Very safe. Hey! <laughs> you would be cute if it weren't for everything about you. <laughs> well, I'll bet you can't provide a single alibi during the last 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Will you please unlock this already? Fine. But to be clear, we were only in the coat closet because of a botched magic trick. Turns out, I couldn't regurgitate the key because, well, I'd swallowed it two days earlier. Because... You know how it goes. Magic is all, all about, about the preparation. preparation. We know. Fine. But if I was to make up with my lovely wife, I needed to find another way to get that key out of me. Would you do the honors? Gross. Well, obviously, I surgically removed it. Oh! Well, you see, I, I did have to go in elbow deep, and that was really only my first attempt. Oh! Stop showing us that. Where did you even learn surgery? That's the same place I learned magic. YouTube. Oh. Can we acknowledge the fact that I'm the one who has to watch? It was not attractive. Brought him way down on the list, almost to Malcolm level. Ah, sweet freedom, mix. Oh no, my watch, I must have... Uh, I'm gonna pass out. Oh. oh, did you do that for me? Oh, sweetheart, I didn't want to lose you. Even if you are no longer attracted to all of this. Well, of course I am. I wrote the main zombie after you. What? Oh, so soft skin, luscious hair, and legs that go on for days. That was me! Why do you have me dieting all the time? Well, after Father passed away from a heart attack, I was just so worried about losing you, too! Oh, sweetie, oh, please don't cry. You could really use a handkerchief! Oh, oh, I'm not going to stand up for this one here. Or a Abra, Cadabra, what's... Oh, oh, I don't know how those got under there. Under there? Oh, precisely. Whoa. Just stop doing the trick. Can we get back to addressing the elephant in the room? Exactly. By raise of hand, who thinks I lay down weird? Just <laughs> He's not actually dead. What? Hasn't been dead all day. He's just passed out. Wow. If he were actually dead, this wouldn't wake him up. Oh! oh. 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 What? Oh. oh. What? Oh. Oh. Hey, let me try. No. Oh. 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 Wait. Let me try. Oh. I pledge allegiance to you. Oh, no. oh, do you even know how to check a pulse? Well, I'm a detective, not a doctor. He's dead, all right. What? Oh, you must have a background in medicine. Oh, no. Julie, Julie, call 911, sweetheart. Oh. Oh. No, it's a list. Jerry, oh. call 911. Oh. I think it's broken. I hit it with your baton or something. Oh, can't do that. I'll do it. Oh. 911. Let's let the professionals handle this. Right. This is a retired veteran head of security at the Chuck E. Cheese in Clarksburg. Yes, the speedball incident won. Exactly. But everywhere. Uh. Anyway, we got ourselves a situation. A code 1041. Oh, that stands for lewdness. Uh, yes, Brooklyn is back in town. <laughs> Don't judge, a girl's gotta get a tan, and the sun's better in the front yard. What's 
What's the secret code for homicide? So that I can tell you secretly. Well, yes, everyone here heard me say homicide. Well, it's just a speaking in code is cool. Yes, I did read something about that online. She thinks it might have something to do with the escaped inmate. Oh, wow. It wasn't him. There ain't no way anybody could enter this house without me noticing. Well, what's the description? Perfectly, except for one obvious thing. This gentleman has a beautiful full head of black hair. Oh. Almost wig like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know if I see anything. Anyway, back to the homicide. No, wait. I, I need to write something down. Um, does anybody have a note card? Oh, oh that would definitely be Malcolm. Now's your time to shine, buddy. Oh. <laughs> I ran out. What? There were a lot of drafts. Plus, when I was hungry, I ate some of them. What? They taste the same as vegan food. Oh. <laughs> same nutritional value, too. Oh. oh. Okay, well, what do you need to write down? <coughs> well, uh, just in case we get disconnected, I want to write down their number. You want to write down the number for 911? Oh, you have it memorized! Yes! Oh, uh, yes, the address here is 100 West Eucalyptus Street. Spell eucalyptus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna need to call him back after we drag the body over to State Street. Oh, oh no. no! All right, everyone, we need to resolve this right now. Oh, oh, oh. Dad said that Charles used to be a mortician. Oh, that's right, that's right. Charles can get him ready for his funeral after he washes him and embalms him. What? What? <laughs> I mean, uh, my pleasure? Wait, wait! I thought Charles was Dutch! Oh. Dutch? Does a Dutch accent sound like? Uh, my pletno. My pletno. My... You need to get your accent straight! Nobody even knows what a Dutch accent sounds like! Whoa! Oh. Okay, yes! So clearly, I am not your beloved butler, who, by the way, has way too many random skills to just be a butler. And what? Was he like some kind of a fitness model or something? Because I am not that round, okay? And I am not short. I am average height in most countries, mostly Latin. And I am not pale. I have a delicate porcelain complexion, something that was once admired in the Victorian era. So you can all stop telling me to do random chores and spitting water in my face! And by the way, these aren't even mine! I found them in the closet and they happen to fit! So your grandpa's the weird one, not me! See, 
Julie referenced my baton earlier, but she only would have known of it had she seen me use it on the groom. Yet, she wasn't in the room, which means she was spying on us from the hallway. She didn't speak when the lights were out because she was too busy sneaking in and finishing them off. She didn't use the candlestick or the Italian lamp because we would have heard it. The blood on his forehead is gone, which means she smothered him with this <gasps> pillow. Oh. Yep, and that's definitely blood. Oh, yeah. And I need to stop doing that. Oh. <laughs> I admit it. Sweetie, we weren't going to believe it. He's been way off all night. But uh, why? He is my brother. <gasps> and our grandfather owned closets. <laughs> oh, the grandfather died when a giant closet display crushed him. And a dying words were, this is how I always dreamed of going. <laughs> uh, instead of the company being equally distributed, it went to the first male grandchild, my incompetent brother. <laughs> to appease me, he told me that I could have half of your company if I just helped him get it. So the plan was, as for like me to marry you, <laughs> And him to marry her, and then we <gasps> you both <laughs> inherit one half each, and therefore help Grandpa overcome his arch nemesis of closets. Oh, hold it! <laughs> Combine the two into one mega company called Closets oh, oh. with three exclamation points! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why admit to all of this now? I'm definitely not going to marry you. That's right. At least not right away. <laughs> or anytime soon, you know, oh, an apology you. goes a long way. Oh, oh, dude, oh, not a good look. Uh, as I saw him laying there, I realized that if he were actually dead, then the entire company would go to the remaining grandchild regardless of gender. <gasps> Me. So, I snuck in, and I smothered him, and now I don't have to marry a pothead, <laughs> or pretend to like any of you, and your android phones, gross. Oh, that's <sighs> hurtful. Oh, did you actually wear headgear to school? Oh, Mom! Oh. I was following the orthodontist's professional advice. Well, don't worry. I didn't tell her about the bedwetting years. Well into adulthood. <laughs> I thought we were going to have to get a second mortgage to pay for all the sheets we went through. Oh, and he was also very late to hit puberty. Mom! <coughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop. Company. <laughs> I walk out of here owning all of the biggest closet manufacturer in all of Madison County! <laughs> Screw you, Grandpa, and your chauvinism! Well, amen to that. <laughs> Enough with the fist bumps! Now, just in time for my holiday release <laughs> Santa Closets! Hey! That was my idea! My really creative idea! <sighs> Please keep that idea. <laughs> okay, I'm, I need to understand something. You come trying to steal our family company and his terrible ideas. You are probably the one who stole our family candlestick, didn't you? Oh. What? <laughs> okay, I don't understand half of what goes on around here. But if I've learned anything, <laughs> it's that my biggest competitor is backed by a highly dysfunctional family. <laughs> and you can even call yourself that. <laughs> oh, <wow>. <laughs> <laughs> Cute <laughs> 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 <laughs>
did you tell everyone your secret from this morning? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Bernie and I <laughs> eloped. <gasps> oh. Which means all remaining interest goes to his surviving wife. Her. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> it looks like you just inherited from my idiot brother, Glenda! Ah! Stop screaming that name! Swear! Ah! Oh, oh. All right, all right. So you come trying to swindle us out of our family company, and in the process, this here highly dysfunctional family now owns yours. Am I missing anything? <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> oh, mother, um, I'll, I'll take my coat now. <laughs> you can't take your coat and leave. Yeah, this coat looks way better on me. <laughs> you killed a man. That too. Oh, it's not like anybody actually liked him. All I had going for him were his abs. Oh. against your word. Oh. Oh. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I recorded your confession. Oh, how do you delete an app on this thing? Um, um, Siri, delete um, Walkman. Delete app. Yeah, this would have never worked. What is that? You are under arrest. What? You have the right to reminisce silently. <laughs> you can do will say in court. Lawyer! figure that out myself. <laughs> After all these costume changes, it's really got me thinking. Maybe a guy actually can change. You know what? I'm gonna start by not running away from love. Ma'am! If you'll have me, it would be my pleasure. Uh. <laughs> Quite frankly, I didn't realize I had feelings for you until I saw you flirting with that dead body. <laughs> just about every time. <laughs> and even though I don't know which version of you is the real one, it don't matter, because I liked all the versions. But this time, I'm going to take it slow. <laughs> right this way. I've got this buddy Larry. You're going to love him. Just don't bring up his acne. You know, sweetheart, I've been doing some serious thinking, too. Today did not go as you had planned, but... I think I know just the thing to cheer you up. Oh no, Daddy, no, not another magic trick. Abra? Kadabra. <gasps> oh. oh! Two lips, because your two lips should be smiling, baby girl. Oh. Oh. You know, when I self-operated, I was spilling the blood of a fool. For rather a lot of blood. But the only thing that was left for me to realize was I was that fool, a fool for doubting your mama 
And a fool for not putting you first on your wedding day. I'm so sorry, baby girl. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Oh. Welcome. Can I open your gift now? No. But I want to open up to you. I love you. And I want you to be mine. Not like my property, but as equals. Not even that, because clearly you are better than me. Oh. But first, sir, I would like to formally ask for your permission and marrying your daughter. <laughs> okay, you don't need to bow, especially like that. <laughs> you know what? I think the only thing more important than keeping you away from my family is seeing her happy. Thank you. And ma'am, I am so sorry about your cats. <laughs> Don't worry. We brought him along because he was terminally ill and scheduled to be put down. And now he's no longer suffering. Oh, and Brooklyn's coat? No way it's fur. She couldn't afford it. So all is well. But you did eat a cat. Right. <laughs> ah! Oh, well, she wanted me to keep these. <laughs> Shall we start wedding planning? I've always wondered why there was a more magic wedding. <laughs> Ma magic? You like magic? Oh, I'm practically obsessed. Oh! D Son! <laughs> oh, I might have misjudged you, boy. Oh, and to prove I'm a changed man, I'm going to start eating a salad every now and then. <sighs> oh, why don't we start right now? Oh, Dad, no. No, no, no. Oh. Now that you're incorporating more vegetables into your diet, you'll feel a big difference. Well, I'm starting to feel different already. <laughs> what just happened? You know, I still haven't given you a gift yet. Here. I want you to know that I've signed over any future interest I might have. Grandpa's legacy is best in your hands. Wow. <laughs> Grandpa would be rolling in his grave to know that a wife was running closets. I'm sure he'd be <laughs> proud, especially now that you own closets. Oh, huh, true. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. Oh, but what are you going to do now? <laughs> that is a good question, since he's been kicked out of every higher education institution. Okay, fine. I admit it. It wasn't my roommate's, <laughs> but it was an accident, mm -hmm. and it's medicinal! Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't even say that with a straight face. Happy? I just want you to be honest with yourself. Why well, are your moms always right? Just it's time I am honest with myself. It's time I pursue my true passion, a professional career in synchronized swimming. <laughs> Follow me! <laughs> This is him. Oh, I was just doing my civil duty, sir, bringing her in. Yep, I'm securing the scene for DNA evidence now. <laughs> a job? As a detective? Uh, do I need to know how to detect a heartbeat? Paid training? <laughs> well, it's like my father and I used to always say, never let anything get in between you and what's most important to you. Sheriff, I'm going to have to turn down your offer. My wife needs me right now. Ruby, honey, I just came up with a new name for your restaurant. Ruby's Roadkill Roadhouse. 